guys, I'm Great Fairy Carrie, and in today's video, I am telling you guys all about the new Animal Crossing New Horizons news that we have received, including when the next direct for Animal Crossing is going to be. I'm super excited. Before I get into it, guys, just want to let you know that if you want to follow me on any social medias, it'll be linked down below, as well as Twitch. I stream on there daily, and I have a Discord server. As we all know, with Animal Crossing New Horizons, Nintendo has not been the most forthcoming with new information. We don't know a ton about the game quite yet, so we're getting most of our information from box art, sticker leaks, and just little hints that Nintendo has left for us. But we're not complaining because we love whatever we can get. The tiniest bit of new news for Animal Crossing fans is just like Christmas Day. One of my favorite things that we have learned this past week or two is that the animals are going to have toes. Yes, toes. It is precious. Here's a picture. It's so cute, his little toe beans. Also, from the box art, we have noticed that we are going to have stairs for the first time in Animal Crossing, which means that our islands are going to be multi-leveled like in previous Animal Crossing games. So I'm really happy about that. I'm super excited. It's just gonna make your island that much more to expand. And so maybe that's one of the ways that we're able to expand our island as the game progresses is that we unlock stairs at some point and that gives us a whole new layer. Another thing that we got is Stone Pass, which is awesome. I hope that we can customize our pass fully like a new leaf. I know I was one of those people who was guilty of spending like three days laying down paths all over my town to make it perfect. Another thing just to keep in mind as we're slowly getting more and more information about Animal Crossing is that most people pour hundreds of hours into the Animal Crossing game and new things are unlocked all the time. So the tiny amount of information we have right now is probably barely scraping the surface of what this game is truly going to be capable of. And I'm just so excited about that. I know New Leaf, which is my personal favorite Animal Crossing game, I was constantly finding new things and unlocking new things. It was absolutely amazing. And I can only imagine how much a console Animal Crossing on the Switch is going to have to unlock. It's going to be absolutely ginormous. And I know we've waited years and years and years for the new Animal Crossing installment. And I just know for a fact that Nintendo is not going to disappoint. Another thing that was released just today is that Animal Crossing is going to have compatibility with the Nintendo Online app, which is super exciting. Maybe you use that to communicate with other island owners when you're visiting their islands, or maybe it's something along the lines of the dream address that we saw in New Leaf. We're not quite sure yet, but the fact that there is compatibility there just allows for that much more expansion with New Horizons. We do understand now how the save data is going to work on New Leaf, and there are some pretty intense restrictions. You can only have one Animal Crossing save per Switch. Yes, per Switch, not per game. I know so many people who loved New Leaf would purchase extra copies of New Leaf so that you could have different towns to play on, but in New Horizons, if you want to do that, you're going to have to purchase an entirely new Switch. Even if you have different profiles on your Switch, you can't have different Animal Crossing villages, which is sad because I love having extra villages, but it's definitely understandable by Nintendo that they might want to do that, maybe promote people purchasing the Switch Lite if they would like to do that extra step in having more than one island. Some folks that were looking in the East store found some clues that lead us to believe that there may be some paid DLC for Animal Crossing, which... I am surprisingly extremely happy about. I'm not a big fan of paid DLC. I don't like it. Not a big fan. I love Destiny, but I stopped playing as soon as Taken King came out because I didn't want to pay extra. So Nintendo does pay DLC extremely well. With Breath of the Wild, that was some of the best paid DLC that I have ever had. And I'm so excited to see what they can do with Animal Crossing. With New Leaf, they let out the Welcome Amiibo update. That, of course, was free, but it was an absolutely wonderful update, which just revolutionized the game halfway through its life cycle and added so much more playability to it for people who felt maybe a little bit burned out or were needing some excess content. Keeping in mind the fact that New Leaf was out for like 10 years before we got another Animal Crossing, this Animal Crossing is also probably going to have a long lifespan, so it's good that they are going to have some DLC. Maybe they release it once a year or every other year, and I would totally be willing to pay for that if I got a new villager pack or if we were able to expand our islands, or just have the ability to feel like you're getting a whole new game every year or so, since the game is gonna have such a long lifespan. Another thing that seems like it's returning back to Animal Crossing from this picture is morning aerobics. Morning aerobics was something that happened in the GameCube Animal Crossing, and it was 
super lovely. I didn't take part in it too much just because I myself am not a very early riser. But with morning aerobics, you can wake up at 6 a.m. and do your little morning aerobics with your animals in the plaza. Super precious. Big fan. I might actually have to wake up early for once to be able to do that. Also, this past week we received pictures and you can pre-order the Animal Crossing Special Edition Switch, which is something that I have been waiting for for so long. It looks absolutely precious. I am a huge fan, and I really hope that I am able to get it. All right, and now to the reason why I'm sure that everyone decided to click on this video. The Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. So we still don't have too much information about Animal Crossing. I feel like we are about to get a absolute pun, though. Nintendo gave us a hint as to when the next Direct is going to be on their Twitter. At least this is what I think. Nintendo tweeted out some Animal Crossing Valentines, which I will put on the screen right here. And those aside from being absolutely adorable, I think that it was actually a clue as to when the next Direct is gonna be. So the game is coming out in roughly a month and a week or so. So now's the time to give us information about it. And when better to have Nintendo Direct than Valentine's Day? And they give us the Valentine's, so it perfectly ties in. Nintendo is known to do some Directs on Valentine's Day. So this might be the last week that we are without all the information that we need for Animal Crossing. I really hope the Direct is on Valentine's Day. That is my best bet. I've been just racking my brain continuously to try to figure out when we're going to get some more information about it. And I really think it's going to be coming sooner rather than later. And I am going to snuggle up with some candy and watch the direct. So I'm super excited to see what new villagers we're going to get. Are we going to get any new villager types? Any new villager personality types? Any new villager classes? I know in a previous video I put up some um, concept art for fat villagers and some concept art for snake villagers. If we got any of that, that would be super nifty and I would be a huge fan. So we'll just have to wait and see, hopefully. On Valentine's Day we will find out and I as you can tell I am ready for Valentine's Day whenever we do get that Animal Crossing direct I will be sure to make a video regarding every single thing in the direct in case you missed anything so be sure to subscribe down below if you would like more Animal Crossing news Animal Crossing gameplay anything like that I'm going to be doing so much in regards to Animal Crossing here in the next coming weeks and after the game is coming and after the game comes out um Yes, so let me know down below what villagers do you think they're going to add? What are your favorite things that have been announced so far? I would love to hear it in the comment section down below. And like this video if you are excited for Animal Crossing. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Before I go, um, my boyfriend's channel was recently terminated. I have linked down below in the description a link to his new channel that he is affiliated with. And it's called Intrusive HD. Be sure to subscribe to that. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much and have a good one.